Central Bank of Kenya Governor Dr. Kamau Thuge was at pains to explain the performance of the Kenya shilling against other currencies when he faced the Public Debt and Privatization Committee of the National Assembly. Members sought to know what the government was doing to stabilize the currency after the CBK governor revealed that in the past four months, Kenya's foreign debt had risen by over 382 billion shillings, a figure expected to rise further if the shilling dwindles. Shemtai Goen reports. Treasury always comes and... Um the Public Debt and Privatization Committee members had hoped to get answers from the Central Bank of Kenya governor on what his office was doing to address the depreciating value of the Kenya shilling, which has negatively impacted various sectors and pushed up the cost of living. The exchange rates is actually a major, major concern to this country. And I think Central Bank, you need to come out more strongly and advise on what needs to be done. Because I know this is one of the issues which are under your domain. Is it prudent or is it a good policy for us to let the market forces dictate the value of shilling uh, in the short term? Uh, or it is what is the cost benefit analysis of us trying to prop up the shilling against letting the market dictate what it is vis a vis? The burden, the debt burden. What we are trying to do to uh, to address uh, that issue is uh, part of it is fiscal consolidation because fiscal consolidation reduces uh, uh, government uh, demands and expenditures. We've also engaged. Um, Investors. Members were alarmed by a further admission that currency appreciation was resulting in a rise in the debt stock, meaning already heavily taxed taxpayers would dig deeper to keep the economy running. In that uh, four months, the debt, the external debt and debt service is estimated to have increased by 382.6 billion, that is with regards to the external debt. Uh, and in terms of uh, debt service payments, an additional 6.9 uh, billion. I think the picture uh, doesn't look very good. So even as we sit here and listening to you, uh, it's something we all need to think through. And though Thuge outlined short-term measures to help stabilize the shilling, it seemed the status quo would remain for a while. I wonder why the Uganda shilling has appreciated against the Kenya shilling. And the Tanzanian shilling has also appreciated against the Kenya shilling. Does that mean that it's only us that are affected by the higher interest uh, rates uh, in the U.S.? If you look at our exports to GDP ratio, it's much lower than for Uganda and Tanzania, which means relative to the economy, they get more foreign exchange into their economy. Thuge says a further drop in Kenya's tourism fortunes was also to blame for the reduction in foreign exchange. We are well behind uh, Tanzania and Uganda in terms of even tourism receipts. And tourism receipts, when they come, they are, they are an addition to your foreign exchange and helps you stabilize your exchange rate. And it got bleak as Thuge put up a case for what is the state of the economy vis-a-vis -vis her neighbors. If you go to uh, Uganda, they are expecting something on the order of 2.5 billion. That's almost three, three and a half times what we are getting. Of course, um, they, you know, they have uh, the oil industry and there's a lot of foreign direct investments going there. But nonetheless, it's foreign exchange that is going into their system. And um, again, if you look at the situation in the... Uh, Tanzania, they are getting twice as much as, they are getting about $1.6 billion in, in FDI. We are getting only 775 The central bank governor says the government, in order to fund its activities, is targeting to borrow 449.2 billion shillings from the domestic market, while at the same time mobilizing external funding from multilateral institutions, development partners and regional banks for cheaper loans and grants. The control of budget who also appeared before the committee revealed that invoices had shown that public debt repayment accounted for the biggest chunk of Kenya's expenditure at over 89.3%. The Public Debt Committee intends to conduct a special audit to ascertain Kenya's financial soundness. Chemutai Goins, Rizan TV.